All right. Is mining still profitable in 2022? But the is a Hey, what's up guys welcome back to another video now today i want to kind of go over the rigs that i have around the house uh, how much i'm making per month and to see if it's even worth uh, getting into mining uh, so just a quick little update uh, so this rig here this is the 3094 the win three um, in my last video i showed how to actually use an old this is actually 12 year old parts uh so the motherboard uh cpu i think it's a core 2 duo um i think it only has three three gigs of ram um and the old 300 watt uh, power supply so basically the entire point of that build was to show that you can still run um uh, newer uh, graphics cards so a 3090 you know just released last year you can still run this with extremely extremely old hardware you might not be able to game like this but for mining because it's only memory intensive because uh, we're mining ethereum you don't really need any output right so just to mine you can use the most basic uh, motherboard cpu again there's a core 2 duo that's you know 12 year old hardware and three gigs of ram and you know obviously you can still mine with it the only thing was uh instead of the uh power supply the third 300 watts i obviously wouldn't be able to power up this i would have to use a hp server power supply which i zip tied here and it's a breakout board and the amount of watts that we're using if you to multiply these two so 22 times uh 12 volts that's how many wattage you're gonna get so we're looking at around um i'd say let me see here 292 uh, watts at almost 119 mega hash so this is just for this rig so again you can obviously mine with extremely old hardware with new graphics cards 100 percent and if you to look at the pcie lanes i still have two more available on the x16 slot which is the long one i'm able to put a 4 to 1 um, pcie splitter so by doing so i'm able to put even more uh cards basically um, i've did on a previous uh, build and uh, just look at my previous videos if you want to see how to do it uh, but yeah you don't have to buy new motherboards new cpus or anything usually that's a bulk of the cost um, to actually get up and running if you buy a bunch of new motherboards cpus power supplies you're looking around five or six seven hundred dollar range um, and then you you know you would obviously add your gpus if you only had one gpus one gpu it wouldn't really be worth it because you have all this underlying hardware but you you can only divide it by one gpu so if you had five gpus or six the underlying hardware so the basic components you would be able to divide it evenly and you'd kind of you know break even much quicker so what i did was removed all that use an extremely old desktop that i had and again you can find these on craigslist for maybe 30 bucks 40 bucks uh, or even kijiji ebay just buy them 100 percent they'll be able to work and yeah not a problem so far and it's been mining for um over, since the last video so i guess over a week or two and yeah pretty good so i'm just going to show you so this is the setup i have right now and this is just uh, sitting beside me it's not too hot uh the fan is uh facing this way only because i don't want anything to you know get caught in it so it's near the wall nothing's there and yeah it does get a bit warm here but you know that's why i have the window i just open it up and that's about it so just as a reference i want to show you guys um the prices all right so as reference uh bitcoin is at almost 38k and ethereum we're looking at 2.5k uh we did drop a little bit and that's obviously to be expected because we've been in the bull market for uh what two two and a half years or so so yeah this is just the price points uh today is march 7th and i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my other rigs around the house all right so this is my 3090 and 3080 build as you can see we've been mining for a while now and so it's a four card rig and i actually had to drop the uh, overclocks for this specific 3090 strix 
because it was giving me GPU uh, error uh, no temps. Um, that is a common occurrence if you are overclocking uh, a bit too high. Uh, but yeah, it's in the garage here only because it is fairly cold. And we're looking at 413 mega hash just from this rig alone. And this one comes with one power supply, a second uh, power supply over there. And this is just an ATX one, which just powers the motherboard and just one 3080 Ti uh, gigabyte. But yeah, so that's just the second one. The monitor here is only here because I wanted to uh, debug it a little bit to see which specific card was um, the one that's causing me troubles. So when you do get the error, GPU error, temps um, not available, um, the whole rig basically crashes. Sometimes it restarts by itself, but other times it just goes down and now I would get an email from two miners stating that one of my rigs is offline and to you know go ahead and uh, look at it. So I think I found it, I think it was this card. So I just reduced the overclocks, uh, but yeah, overall still running pretty good. And yeah, let me just show the third rig now. All right, so this is the third rig, um, five card rig here, and it has four 3070s and one 3060 uh, revision one. Uh, starting off with the Zotac 3070, and here this is an Asus KO. 3070 as well again both full hash rate the aces i've noticed you can overclock them much higher and uh, they do stay pretty cool most of the time um, so going forward if you ever are you know in between getting a specific card so let's say you have the option between an msi or an asus or even zotac 100 percent always go for the asus models um, they're just you know they just have better fans, better cooling, better almost everything, right? Zotax, uh, like I totally expect this car to basically break down, the fans to break and everything. Um, for the Win 3 cards or, you know, EVGA in general, they're pretty much second tier, I guess. But always, always, if you can, get an Asus, 100% would recommend. Uh, this is the uh, another EVGA 3070 card. This is the only card that I have that is LHR uh, amongst the 3070s here. This one is a Asus Tough 3060. Again, highly, highly recommend Asus. You probably see a pattern now. I'm always getting the Asus cards if possible. So either the Asus KO, Asus Tough, or Asus Strix. Strix are obviously the more expensive uh, premium ones. And then last but not least, this is a Gigabyte uh, 3070. Uh, this one has a massive, massive heat sink. Uh, you can probably tell it's probably bigger. So this is a 3070 and this is a 3070. You can probably tell this is almost double its size. It stays really cool, but it's really hard to overclock these things. So anyways, I'm using the MSI Z3098 Pro motherboard and yeah, two, basically two power supplies. So one here and one here. And in this rig, I don't have the monitor hooked up to it, but this specific rig gets around, I believe 264 mega hash. So in total, we're looking at around 800 mega hash. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you guys the numbers, how much we're getting. Again, this is all together with the other two rigs. All right, so just to kind of show you guys some numbers, um, it shows here on two miners, my, on the pool side, my uh, current mega hash is, uh, current hash rate is 862. And on average, I'm getting 782. I get my report hash rate and what I'm supposed to get is 800. So this number is a bit uh, skewed. Um, but yeah, if you were to look at it here on this side, we're looking at 0 0.011 Ethereum on a daily basis, 20 bucks a day. Uh, this number should be around 27, I think, only because it's it showing here 62 mega hash more than what I'm, uh, what I currently, what I currently have. And again, this number is high because it's, it's depending on your amount of shares that you give to the pool and you know, that that's what's reflected here. So as you can see, these are the numbers the, or the numbers of shares that I'm posting. Uh, it does go up and down from time to time. So it can go as high as, uh, let's say 900 mega hash to even 600, right? And uh, it just updated. So now I'm looking at 945 mega hash, even though again, it's at 800 and it's now showing $30 and 71 cents. Again, this number should be 27 ish, I think. Uh, but yeah, it just depends. Just look at the average hash rate and uh, what your expected payouts are. And I'm just gonna show you guys here. So these were my rewards. Uh, so I'm looking at you know 0.01, so 1% Ethereum, 
usually this is today so this will you know still continue to grow but usually it caps off at 0.01 eth on a daily basis and if we were to go on uh what to mine so on what to mine you can actually put in your uh different cards that you have if you want um, i already know my numbers so 800 mega hash uh, and I'm getting 2k uh, watts that I'm using for electricity. Um, I just put a higher number here just to um, kind of kind of give me some margin of error. And I put here uh, my the my pay so 0.088. Let's just make it 0.09 uh, for easy numbers. And if I were to hit calculate, uh, it will show my most profitable coin is obviously Ethereum, followed by this is just nice hash if you're to use their software. And then uh, ProgPow algorithm, zero coin. So again, Ethereum, we're looking at $29 a day. So it's very close to the um, uh, what we saw on the pool side. And this is our actual profit. So we're looking at our four and four and something dollars, so almost 440, I think, going to electricity. So our daily profit is around 24 or 25 uh, USD on a daily basis and multiply that together that's 744 usd and if i were to convert that to um canadian i'm looking around 937 so profits did go down by maybe 100 or 200 dollars a month uh, but again this fluctuates based on the price of ethereum so yeah 100 percent get into mining if you can it is extremely profitable especially right now um, buy graphics cards at msrp prices you should be able to get a few of them uh for that for those prices uh, and just wait out until you can uh, pretty much buy, you know, power supplies, motherboards, CPUs, and all that for extremely cheap prices. It's inflated right now because of uh, the pandemic and also because of, um, well, just, just mining in general. Because a lot of miners are buying up specific mining motherboards. But again, you don't need that for now. Temporarily, you can make a janky setup uh, with whatever you have. And then later on when a lot of miners shut down their equipment and start selling off, you can buy those extremely, extremely nice motherboards, CPUs, RAM, power supplies um, for, you know, pennies on the dollar. I bought this for 300 Canadian shipping and everything, 300 something. Um, in actuality, if you were to have bought this maybe two years ago or even like last year, uh, I'd probably pay like maybe 150. So the price of this, literally the power supply and the breakout board literally doubled, right? Get into mining if you want or just buy the coin outright. Either way, you will probably be happy with the outcome anyways. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.